What's up guys, YST here and welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. I hope all of you are having an amazing day. Today we're going to be doing my shard pools. Um, the good time of the week where we can hopefully, fingers crossed, get a legendary champion. And it's actually to coincide with the Newt Fusion Summon Rush, which I am actually going for. You guys let me know in the comments, how is your fusions going? Are you on track or are you finding any of them tedious? And, you know, just your experiences as a whole for this fusion. Like, for me, it's been pretty self-sailing, but that's mainly because I missed out on the two previous fusions. I missed out on Jetney and, um, what's her name? The Skinwalker, Brithoof Loriaka, but I did do Pythion and Rhizovarg. So I've pretty much had a long time to save up my energy and resources to make this one a little bit more easier on myself. But actually, let's just quickly look at the points because I've not actually seen them in game yet. So it's going to be 2150 for the tree shield knots. And the sacred shards is usually what I like to use for these events because the ancients, 20 ancients is like, or 20 points. Raid really need to ramp this up to make this viable for summon rushes in particular. Uh, void shards pretty decent as well. We do have a 10x Krisk, one of the best void champions in the game. So it'd be amazing for you guys to maybe pull him. And then, of course, the Sacred Shards. And usually I would go for the Extra Epic, um, which in this case is going to be Ambassador Lefelin. But I feel like I'm on top of everything and I don't need to invest an extra, what is that, like five, six Sacred Shards to get the Epic now. If it was the Void one, I would have kind of thought about it. Because if we just pull up the event calendar really quickly, hopefully you guys can see that. Um, today we've got the Classic Arena on, we've got the Dragon, and then of course the Artifact Enhancement and the Summon Rush. And if you pay close attention to the Void Rare in particular, he's the one that you need from both summoning events. So, you know, the rest of them can be obtained by simply doing events that doesn't include summoning shards. So what I'm going to do is probably get the Rare, and then later down the line next week, which is going to be a 2x Sacred, I'll probably pump the rest into there as well. But I'll also speak about my strategies of how to tackle that if you're falling a little bit short on your shards. But yeah, uh, pretty self-explanatory throughout this fusion. We've got the champion training, which I don't like to do if I'm honest. But once again, like there's no other ways to get these void reds or the epics. So I'm just going to have to deal with those unless I get really lucky and summon an extra tree shield. Which I will summon a couple voids in today's video, but I don't have a ton. I don't have a ton. Well, it'll be really cool to see the ways that you guys are tackling these as well. So let's just take this off. So basically what I'm planning to do is, if we go into the fusion itself, um, Newts, uh, we're going to be getting all of these rares to fuse into the epics, which I traditionally like to do on those champion chase tournaments to get some easy points for stuff that I would be fusing anyway. I believe it's around 250 per epic, and maybe 350 for the void epic maybe? I'm not entirely sure. And then once I throw those together with the rest of the shards that I will be summoning, I should be well on my way to get the fusion done and then finally get my newt in one week and five days or before that, depending on when I manage to complete it. But I'll really have to stay on the board and not miss any single event because missing one of those rare champions basically means I need to go into the ancient shards and just summon a bunch and fingers crossed I get something to pull it out the bag, right? But all right, um, let's get into the shard summons now. We do have a 10x event up at the moment. Uh, briefly going over them, we have Krista Ageless, phenomenal champion. We got ally protections, provokes, increased defense, increased speed, decreased attack, decreased defense. You name it, phenomenal champion. Um, congratulations to anybody that managed to summon him. A Corriga Death Bell, probably the one that, if it was the proc of 10x, the one I would want the most on my account, and that's simply due to the fact that I don't have him. But he is a really good ally protection and strengthen option on a three turn cooldown and has great tummy of fill capabilities to use everywhere in the game. So really cool choice. Uh, Mr. Snake Track, um, amazing champion, one of my favorites. I'm pretty sure I've been vocal about that over the past few months. Um, if any of you guys do pull him, definitely check out my video guide on the channel where I tackle the Hydra boss and the faction wars. And he's basically got protected shields, decreased speed, ally protections, you name it. This dude is rocking for a legendary champion. And fun fact, um, a community member actually drew this up for an art contest. First place was Calvalax, and I believe Snake Track was third place. So a big shout out to the dude that actually came up with the original concept for Snake Track. Um, Tyrant Ixlamore, really cool burn option. I'm just not sure how many players would need him because you've got Artak right for free. 
But Allied Protection increased defense three turn cooldown and also decreased the damage inflicted by enemies under burn. Could help up some players for the Demon Lord clan boss. And then we got like Skull Crushers for counter attack, Jareg, Vergis, and Andrissia for the rest of those champions there. Uh, before we actually go to the shards, I know I keep holding it off. Uh, I want to go to the clan boss just to see if I can get something else. I actually did my. Oh, wait, another sacred shard. Beautiful. That's really going to help me out. Oh, I thought I was going to go back to back there. All right, that, that's, that came in clutch there. That came in clutch. I've actually been getting a ton of legendary skill terms recently, but not from the Ultra Nightmare, from the Nightmare chest. Really odd. But um, yeah, so we've got 10 now. Um, if I was to think about 250 points for each of those epics I'm going to fuse, potentially doing a Broadmoor as well, which I do entice, entice you guys to do as well. I could probably get away with around 5 to 6 sacreds. Maybe. We'll start off with the voids. Oh, I've seen a bit of lag there. Oh, nice. We've got Ethelin the Golden, who's actually a new champion who just came into the high elves. Uh, we've got Glimmering Gold, increased accuracy and increased crit damage. We've got AoE block active skills and potentials for true fear. And a shield A1 as well. So it's really cool to pick up somebody that reminds me of Moon Knight and he's new to the game. Um, really nice pickup. Brand new champion. I wish it was the werewolf dude though. That would have been so easy. Can you imagine that I can keep my tree shield for the, um, the Sylvan Watchers faction wars? But yeah, extra legendary event. I went absolutely dry. So I would be expecting a Lego from these shots. Hopefully. It's not guaranteed, of course. But if I can get anybody, of course, it's going to be the um, Necmo Fars, the Lady Kimmies, or just any champions that's a non dupe. Come on, Raid. Give me something here. Here we go, come on. Who are we gonna get? Ooh, nice, okay. Okay, now Oswald Crimson Horn was the counterpart to Jetney the Giant, which I actually didn't go for that fusion. And now I kind of regret it in a sense, but Oswald by himself is actually a phenomenal champion, guys. Probably the better of the two, because he got Resounding Rally, it fully heals a target allied and places a block damage buff on them. Um, so really cool for those clan boss teams or simply the arena to protect your champions. We didn't have a chance of removing two random buffs from all enemies. And, and these cannot be, um, what's it called? Cannot be resisted? Or if it's a weak hit, if Jetney's on the same team to kind of counter those um, specific affinities. And continuous heals as well. Like a lot of value coming out from this. Um, single target of increasing the duration of two random debuffs on the target. And then when attacked has a chance of placing decreased speed. So actually a really nice pickup here because if we go into my barbarians, right? I'm a big fan of just getting non-dupes, like, thankfully. Um, I actually don't have a ton of Barbarian Legendaries. Would have rather a Valkyrie, but two new champions? Not too bad, right? Not too bad. We'll do one more. I think saving five is probably the best thing to do. Come on. Well, I did say I'd do six, right? All right. We'll do one, we'll do one more, just for you guys, you know. Hit that like button and all that good stuff. And a Skull Crusher. Really cool. So we've got four Sacreds now. We've got a few Ancient Shards. And we've still got a week where if I go into my Doom Tower, I can actually get another Sacred Shard and another Void for the next 2x. Because I always see it in a way where if I summon, if I'm on Mercy or close to Mercy like I was today to get the Owl School, I don't want to use my Mercy on a 2x event. For me, that just defeats the object of the event in particular. So i rather go for these 10x events where I know I'm on Mercy, but on a 2x event, just try my luck with a double chance and fingers crossed a legendary pops out. But we've got a bunch of days, like what's that, seven days um, to maybe get a few more sacreds. And we kind of guaranteed one from the Doom Tower as well. Should be pretty fine, right? Uh, summon Rush, we go in here. But we're way past where we needed to go. We've got the Eternal Soul Coins, which I actually am pretty close uh, to doing the rest. Got a soul stone here as well. Let's eat that. Let's eat that bad boy. Let's go. Can we get something cool here? We've got a rare champion in a ghoulish ranger. Any ghoulish rangers fans out there? <laughs> so basically, if we go into my um, champions now, we'll just filter. Thankfully, we got this now to the Sylvan Watchers because that's where the rares are from. Hi. So basically, my prep so far has gone. We've got three maxed up for the Lone Blade Reabs, who's actually a pretty good champion with drop defense and weaken. And then we've got the um, 
another one here so we've got four so that's basically one of my epics in the bag we've got the tree shield knot who's going to be one of four for my wolf dude so we're doing pretty well so far but i've still got a bunch to get like if we go in here my dragon tournament is live today so i will be double dipping with the dungeon divers which i was waiting for to get optimal points for that classic arena there's one here as well so that's basically two that i still need to get um, artifact enhancement has just kicked off in the game and i'm not a big fan of these if i'm honest it was one of the reasons i kind of wanted to push for the epic but because i'm on par for the first time i'm just gonna you know not do the extra shards there uh champion training events we've done that already okay and then dungeon diver starts at 20 hours so that's where i'm kind of holding off a little bit so i can do my dragon with that to get optimal points and i feel like i'll be well on my way to get this done but yeah, guys, um, I guess that's going to be all for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you guys summoned during your 10x event. I always like to see what you guys pulled and all that good stuff. Have an amazing rest of your weekend, and I'll catch you guys on a video soon. Peace.